friends of pizza. Welcome to Weekend Warrior Pizza. My name's Mike, and today we're gonna show you the Lazy Man's pizza dough recipe. So whether you're lazy or you're brand new to this or you don't have any kitchen mixing equipment, no expensive stand mixers, I've got the recipe for you. It's called the No Need Recipe. And the credit for this idea goes to Jim Leahy, renowned cookbook author and chef who made this popular a long time ago. And the whole concept is when you put the ingredients together and leave them alone, they're gonna do what they're meant to do. So simple chemistry. This is the first video in a series of no need recipes. So this one is gonna be Neapolitan style. And with that, I'm using my outdoor pizza oven we're gonna get this up to about 850 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about the perfect temperature for this. And while that's heating up, let me take you back to yesterday to when I made the dough. We're gonna start off with the water. This is 380 grams of room temperature water or one and two thirds cup. 0.22 grams of instant dry yeast or one eighth of a teaspoon. 610 grams or four and a half cups of double zero flour. I'm just gonna put in a little bit to start and I'll mix this in. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to uh, create a buffer for the salt. It's a best practice to not uh, add the salt directly to the yeast. So we're just gonna create a little bit of a diluted mixture here. And now we can add the salt. This is 12 grams of sea salt, which comes out to roughly two and one eighth teaspoon. And now I'll slowly add the rest of the flour. Do a little bit at a time so you can make sure you get as much hydration as possible. This comes out to about a 62% hydration level, and it's gonna give you four 12 inch Neapolitan style pizzas. And all we need to do is get this into a homogeneous mass. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna let this rest covered for about 18 hours and it's gonna form its own gluten structure. Okay, so this is all the hard work we're gonna to have to do. And that is it. Lid goes on, and this sits out at room temperature between 18 and 24 hours. So we will see you tomorrow. And here we are, exactly 18 hours later. You'll know it's done. It'll have risen, it'll be really nice and bubbly if you check that underside. So all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of flour down right here. And what you wanna do, instead of scooping it out, just turn your container upside down and let gravity do the work. Look at how beautiful that is, that is awesome. So we're just gonna go ahead and divide this up. And as I said earlier, this will make four 12 inch pizzas. You want to divide it into four 250 gram dough balls. There's a lot of different ways to ball them up. I tend to like this method where you kind of push up and in. And then kind of make a triangle with your hands. Just roll it out. And then what I have here, I'll leave links in the description below, these are individual dough ball proofing containers. They are perfect uh, for a 250 gram dough ball. It'll give it room to double. I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour in and a little bit 
on top of one of my dough balls and then we'll get this guy in here and it'll be ready to go you have to wait three hours at room temperature if you're gonna do this the same day otherwise you can just put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator so what I'm gonna do this guy is gonna stay out and I'm gonna make a pizza for lunch the other three I'm gonna cook tomorrow for dinner and they will benefit from cold proofing in the refrigerator get a little bit better of a result in my opinion okay here we go inaugural pizza on the channel give you a little better view here crust is doing exactly what I want it to do. And I can see it's starting to brown in the back, so we're going to spin it. And this will help us get a nice even cook. Neapolitan style is traditionally a pretty soft pizza, especially in the center. do want to make sure that it's cooked. There's nothing worse than a undercooked pizza. It's another couple seconds and it's done. All right. There it is. Let's get the cheese on it while it's hot. And here it is. Buffalo mozzarella on top. If you push down on the crust, it bounces back. That is full of air. Very nice. Give you a look. Beautiful. Let's get a bite. Here we go. Mmm. There you go. No need Neapolitan lazy man's pizza dough recipe. It's awesome.